I wanted to give a quick training on how to create a Facebook event, which you can do this for any event that you do, but how to leverage your business page by creating an event, to get more people to attend your masterminds. I am going to share my screen and it looks like I'm doing this from Todd's account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to pages, this icon, and I'm going to click on the win by noon page. And I'm going to go to events. Once you're here, you're going to click create event. There's different types. Are you doing an in-person with people at a specific location, or are you doing an online video chat with messengers? Most of you will be doing this in person. If you, if you've rented out a movie theater or maybe a venue where you're going to be streaming it, then you could always do an online event. But remember, you only get one URL. You can't hand out that URL. Otherwise, you're going to have complications. So if you click in person, you can do event name, Modern Real Estate Summit. Start date, you're going to pick June 8th. Start time. Again, it's 12 p.m. Pacific. So wherever you are, pick your start time at 12 p.m. It's not a recurring event. It's going to be public for description. I'm going to copy and paste. In fact, I'll go ahead and include a script that you could just copy and paste for your own description for your event. And again, you would want to alter this the way you need to, but I'm going to include my Top Gun verbiage. So I'm here, description. Hit control V. Here we go. Calling all top guns in the real estate industry. You are invited. Join the best of the best as we come together virtually. So you may want to change that if it's not virtually on Wednesday, June 8th for the modern real estate summit, where we will train hard learning the secrets of the mega producers from across the country. This will be a top gun themed mastermind. So feel free to come dressed up and ready to have fun while we learn when June 8th time come and go if you need that's a great option if people can't stay for the entire time you may want to let them know that you can come and go you can put the email of where people need to rsvp category this is important because when people are on facebook this is how facebook knows what to recommend to people of, of different interests that they may have most of the time i would choose professional networking okay then i'm going to hit next location this would be obviously the location that you're hosting at there we go. Plug and play a sim. I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to hit next. I'm going to go ahead and put add ticket link. You wouldn't need to do this unless you're doing a Google doc where they can RSVP or Eventbrite. You could always do that here. I'm going to put www.modernmortgagesummit.com. I always include show guest list because that way if someone's friends with someone else and they see that they're going again, it just helps with that social proof or street cred. So save. I'll just put a, again, it didn't ask you for this when you were hosting it at a location. This is just if you're doing it online. So I'm going to hit publish event. Now you can boost the event if you want, put some ad spend behind it. Or what I like to do is then you can start inviting people. So if you want to invite people, you can't invite someone that you're not friends with on your personal account, but then you could specifically choose maybe the top real estate partners that you want to come to your event, you could just click it there. By default, it's always going to add the banner events that your Facebook page, your business page already has. I'm going to want to change this. So the image that I have in the email that's saved as an attachment, I saved it to my desktop and I just click and drag it here. It used to say, edit image and you could just delete the image and upload your new image. And just so y'all know, it's always going to look blurry when you're in this view. Once you finalize it and it updates, which takes just a little bit, it'll then look clear. So if it looks blurry, it's not going to stay like that. You'll refresh and it'll get better over time. I would definitely recommend you are strategic on who you invite. That way it goes to their messenger and they can choose if they want to come or not. But this is just an easy way to create a Facebook event. And again, make it fun, make it Instagram worthy that when people show up, they're all taking photos, encourage them to tag you in their photos, make it an experience that's memorable. And that way you're not just another loan officer hosting an event. So that is how you set up a Facebook event. It can be a little different from your phone. If you don't like that, it's automatically using the same cover photo as your business page. You know that all you have to do is drag and drop and it'll populate there. So you can use the one attached to this email or 
you know, request one from us if you're a top of mind or influencer client, and we will get that over to you. 